Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to One of Each, the Dumb and Hungry podcast, where we talk about our food adventures and our favorite food groups. I'm Angelo, the Dumb and Hungry. And I'm Mai Chow. And thank you for joining us. Hope you're doing all right. Mai Chow, how are you today? I'm okay. You know, just another day, another soul-crushing <laughs> office day. Wow. Uh, well, I hope in the meantime, I hope your activities can be fun and your belly full. Uh, but I don't know. Hope you get yeah, through it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, what was it? We had a friend stay over last weekend. She oh, okay. was uh, here for International Lolita Day. Mm -hmm. uh, I, oh, for what now? Uh, International Lolita Day. Uh, we've talked about Lolita before, kind of that unique uh, Japanese fashion. Mm -hmm. um, can you just kind of remind me again? <laughs> Speechless, Honestly, I huh? Explain it. I don't okay. know how to explain it, so okay. I'm just going to tell you to look up. It's just, you know, frilly dresses, usually uh -huh. specifically designed. Uh, famous, one of the more popular... I think this is what we did, Angelic too. Pretty. I think we ended, I think yeah, we ended just up... look it up. Yeah. Look it up, okay. Angelic Pretty, on your that, thing. Yeah, okay. Well, give me one second. But So so your friend came over uh, to celebrate yeah. that specifically, huh? And where yeah, did they come from? She's from Sacramento? I think okay. or NorCal took you a minute. Yeah, Sacramento or so, remember that? Yeah, because her local con is San Jose, so it's probably one okay. of those two. Okay. Uh, um, ILD is twice a year: once in the summer, once in or once in June, once in December. Is that right? Interesting. Yeah. All right, I pulled this up here, so we have uh, many different results. Um, hopefully, safe for work, but that's fine. Yes. What? Whatever. I don't know. I have no idea. I just these are just yeah, different. Fair examples of uh yeah. what they can be that's um, true yeah very uh very unique look here um yeah, so that's the thing but anyway part of the, but part of the reason i bring that up is because the a very common place where we hang we go to eat with this friend of hers is uh yellow house but hey. as you all know yellow house is dead so Right. Went to Anju House. It was her yeah. first time and one of our other friends' first time at Anju House yeah. instead of Yellow House. And uh, it, was, it was still pretty good. It was still the same as it was. What did your friend think of it? Um, She got the... Oh, yeah. She said it was... because I forgot what it was called, but it's like a, a stew. Korean stew with mm -hmm. just a bunch of seafood. Okay. And it was the same quality, she said. And, and in fact, she said it was a little better just because it had more shellfish. Oh, and, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, she well, was impressed by it. Sounds like a win for Anju Haas. Once again. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Did you get uh, the same thing like last time or did you get something different? I mean, what? Uh... I think last time we got that meat plate. I know, did get the big whole... meat plate this time. Oh, I got the cheese pork cutlet, which is, I don't know if Yellow House had that, but I've had it before at other places. And it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's like Korean comfort food. Hmm. So it was good. It was it was good quality. Uh, they have two options. I don't know. What, there's one with rice and another option where it's more expensive, but I assume it's all meat. I don't know. Okay. I don't, next time I'll have to research this. That's fine. Just whatever you remember. I mean, you know, it sounds like it was oh, good. No, I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to get the bigger one next time. Okay, good. Good. Uh, for science. Yeah. yeah. Of course. For the pod. <laughs> Well, that sounds good, and hopefully your friend had a good time then. Um, yeah, and then um, we actually went to the downtown Disney, or not downtown Disney, but we, after that we went to the Anaheim employee Disney store or whatever, because mm. Carmen, thanks Carmen, ha gave me a flyer that lets you go without a, um, a an employee with you. So, Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So the employee store is just kind of this, what, this kind of special store, uh, typically for employees to get good discounts on merch and stuff. Yeah. And this one, the one in Anaheim is more for their, like, overstock stuff. So they had, like, Halloween stuff, Hanukkah stuff, Christmas oh, stuff. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, Are there yeah, other yeah. stores, you know, that exist or locations? Of that nature, I just know the uh, the one in Burbank as well. Oh, there's a Burbank one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but by the studio. Was there uh, something specific you had in mind uh, to get at the store? No, because I've never been. So, mm. and none of us have ever been. So we all went to, cause it was also like the friends and family thing that the Carmen, the flyer Carmen gave was lots of stuff was heavily discounted even more than normal. Cool. Okay. They do it like twice a year to basically get rid of extra stock, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. 
Makes sense. But yeah, it had a lot of stuff. Like I, we had only and I together ended up spending 120 bucks. So oh, wow. most of it's half off. So it would have been like 240. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. So that that's was really a, cool. That's a good bargain. I mean, you know, you save a lot yeah. um, and get for, I mean, it, for that kind of stuff that you're getting, right? Like for random Disney stuff. Yeah. 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 That's good. Is it's she there? Much, is she back there say. with you? Just kind of. Oh yeah, she's, she's there <laughs> Nice. Um, okay. Much. Well, that that's cool. Most of it was me though. Oh really? Okay. All right. Yeah, it's too much. I have, I have no self control. Ah. Okay. Well. Um. Well, you thank Carmen again for. Uh, yeah. For letting you guys uh, hooking you up. I guess that's good. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't make it on last. On Sunday for that, that, cause that was just us hanging out, but Sunday they did the actual international Alita day thing mm-hmm. for her and her little dear friends. Mm-hmm. I had to work unfortunately. So, uh-huh. but they did the, um, they went to our rooftop terrace thing here at this apartment and they did a uh, parfaits. They did a whole parfait making party thing. Nice. You were telling me that you have some, uh, outdoor space there, um, at your complex, right? To Yeah. It, cause the, this complex has two buildings, this mm-hmm. built our building. I mean, we have access to both, but in our case, it's just more convenient to use the uh, rooftop terrace thing. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, so it overlooks. It's it's only six floors, so it's not like at the top top, but it overlooks the Little Tokyo Library and that. Yeah. So that direction, which is still nice. You still get a nice view out of it. Mm, okay, that sounds good. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, I saw the pictures. They the parfaits look good. The dresses were Lolita. Where did the uh, parfaits come from? Uh. We, the day it's a make your own parfait thing. So oh. we brought bought a bunch of ingredients and the ah. and the parfait cups and stuff. They just nice. they did a whole thing of well, how m- how many are we talking about here? Who uh, who was there? I mean, they had nine people. Wow. Okay, that's yeah. quite a that's quite a good group. Yeah, so that was cool and good parfaits. I'm sad I missed it. Yeah. Did you have any parfaits at all? Did you partake? No. no by the time I was no, they had their own. They they only made one each. Well, I mean, so is anything left people. over for you? Like any ingredients? Oh, they to, ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. But you didn't bother to put them together. No. <laughs> that's too much, that's got, too much work. Cream. I will eat it separately. I've been eating the brownies, the ice oh. cream, the... <laughs> uh, what is yeah. it? Yeah, the jelly roll cakes, the... Your own uh, deconstructed versions of the parfaits, huh? Basically. Okay. All cool. throughout the days, which is nice. So there's that. But yeah, it was cool. I'm sad I missed out. But they had the parfaits look really good. Mm-hmm. Some of them, from what I saw, I didn't see all of them. Mm, okay, good. Well, glad they had glad they had fun. Glad they have uh, a good time. So yeah, Inter- International Lolita Day. I, to, I don't know the first the first Saturday or the first weekend of June and the first weekend of December. I see. Okay, cool. Maybe next time you'll get parfaits. I hope so. Who knows? Next now, <laughs> next in the winter, who knows? It might be too cold up there. Oh, I see. But you should, um, if you ever have any free time, you should look at some of the International Alita Day tea parties from pre-COVID. Some mm-hmm. of them are insane. Very elaborate, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I I remember you mentioned before. You know, you uh, you know, you guys went to a, a tea party. Um, you know, you you did that somewhere mm. nearby, like Pasadena or something like that. Oh, the Pasadena um, one, uh, tea rose, rose Tea Garden or something mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. Tea Rose Garden. So. Yeah, that was also, I think, International Alita Day for December or something. Yeah, sounds right. Yeah. Okay, good. But the ones pre-COVID were, at least the ones she showed me pictures of, the, mm-hmm. like the, the ones hosted by uh, Lolita brands, like fashion, actual fashion brands are crazy. Wow, okay. I'll have to, I'll have to look it up. I have to share um, with the others, like what they look like. And I don't know. I I just don't know. I haven't wrapped my mind, my mind around it, but it sounds exciting. So Yeah, it's cool. Nice. Cool. Uh, yeah, nice. I, um, myself, have just been eating. So Into just... Oh. <laughs> Everyone's got to get started somewhere. I guess so. But, uh, but yeah, uh, just um, just eating, just going around. Uh, it's been maybe a couple of weeks since we last saw each other. So um, there's been a lot of time to, uh, to digest things. So not enough for all the stuff you've listened. No, to I don't think so. It's still not enough, <laughs> but there's still plenty to, uh, uh, to explore and, and to try, but let, uh, let me bring you through a few of the things that, um, I've had the pleasure of shoveling down my gullet. Um, one of which is uh, pizza. 
uh, mm-hmm. this place called Little Dynamite in uh, in the West Side, Mar Vista. Um, I was reminded this is formerly known as um, uh, Bootleg Pizza. Um, they had a brick and mortar for a little while. They were they were a food uh, a truck long before that, um, and uh, they found a they found a, a permanent space on the West Side. So um, little dynamite. They just make great pan style pizza. Just kind of kind of that sourdough, um, kind of thicker uh, crust uh, type of type of pizza. And uh, this one's just you know you can see it's just uh, ladled with uh, stacked with pep. So yeah, they got different great. types, different flavors, um, all manners of stuff. They might change flavors up every once in a while, but. Um, that's a good spot. And I was reminded to go there because again, John just doesn't stop talking about trying out Detroit style or, you know, pan style uh, pizza. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm trying them out without him. It's kind of odd because he, I should be bringing him along, but you know, know. it's like when we went to Rafi's place, he waited until he couldn't go to decide to choose to go there. Yeah. Well, that's his own fault, but uh, (laughs) you know, he decided to, to travel to Europe um, instead, which is fine. We should get him on. We should get him talking about that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, anyway, his fault. Moving on, we have... Of uh, course, always, <laughs> always his fault. The next spot we have um, is uh, Bad and Bong in Long Beach. We've mentioned them a couple times. And um, he's, uh, this guy, Chad, is kind of known as the Cambodian cowboy. Uh, he kind of makes this right. Cambodian-style barbecue. So we have this plate here with uh, some brisket and uh, some ribs and some um, some pork belly. And, um, you know, you just kind of see when you when you kind of take a look at the menu um, or even if you just take you just get a taste, you can, you know, taste flavors that are very Cambodian leaning, very Cambodian inspired. Um, and Maybe. it just kind of makes that um, experience pretty, pretty nice. And you can even see there we have some uh, some. Uh, some noodles in there. Yeah. Um, the better noodles. And there are some sides there too, but uh, that uh, kind of very Cambodian flavors with um, like corn and slaw. But um, but yeah, this was a great place there over at, um, they, they move around, but they this particular visit was at uh, 10 Mile Brewery down in, in Long Beach. So um, mm-hmm. yeah, that's uh, that'd be a good place to try out if, um, if you're down here. Um, but also down in Long Beach, we have uh, proudly serving a uh, good smash burger spot. I think we've mentioned them, um, but referencing yeah. their uh, Redondo Beach location. And so mm-hmm. they're they're out here in, um, in uh, Long Beach at Beachwood uh, Brewing in downtown Long Beach. So uh, you can get a brew and you can get a burger um, and sit out by the patio. So... Um, can't go wrong there. It's a good burger, solid burger. Um, okay. really nice. When you have a chance to try out their fries, their fries are real good. They fry them in duck fat. And so it's kind of, it's just nice. Just a good fry. Um, but yeah, this is also just a great, um, burger to, to try. Um, while I was there, since I was kind of nearby in that part of downtown Long Beach, it's not too far from Long Beach Creamery. So when you have a chance, oh, nice. you just kind of, um, visit there too. Um, other bites in Long Beach include uh, this spot, Shady Grove. Um, and they, and I had known of them for a little while. Um, they had been doing pop-ups um, and they recently kind of secured a brick and mortar in Long Beach. And um, they serve what they call Long Beach style barbecue. I'm still trying to, I mean, from what I tasted, it's great. I mean, we have a plate here with like tri-tip and some uh, real great uh, beans and um, asparagus and uh, some really good toast. But uh, I also ordered a side of, um, well, not really a side, but an order of um, rib tips. So uh, they're kind of kind of nicely fried up and uh, with a side of uh, potatoes as well. But this was, mm. um, yeah, this was a good uh this is a good spot. I mean, they do brunch too, um, but uh, this plate was like done during dinner or whatever. But yeah, that was uh, that was quite nice. Um, I 
moving on, I don't remember if I've mentioned, I think I have, I'm, I'm usually looking for a, a good Western style burger. Bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what? So this place here was from Tam. So Tam's is a kind of, it's kind of in the know kind of burger spot. It's a, it's a longstanding, you know, chain of burger stands. Um, if you know, you know, kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. But there are different Tams all throughout and everyone's a little unique from each other, you know? So this one's out in um, Paramount, I think, uh, because that's the only one I that was nearby that happened to mention a, or list uh -oh. a burger like this <laughs> on the menu. So um, the thing is, I got to tell you, there's still really as much as I do like it, there's still really nothing like a Carl's Jr. Western bacon cheeseburger. Just the okay. flavors themselves from even the, you know, the typical fast food processed meat with the whatever, the thin strips of bacon and the limpy like onion ring things. It mm -hmm. just all together slathered in that that sauce, it just makes it it's just still so good. Um, I don't know what it is. It's like this perfect formula, um, of weird stuff that come together to make something beautiful. These it other, it just hits different, uh, you know, okay. but these other, you know, spots, they make, they make great burgers too. Um, other, you know, Western style burgers I've tried. They're great too. It's just the flavor is still different, right? Like, <laughs> And, you know, in one hand, like I'm thinking, yeah, I want to try to like have a, a burger with like maybe better quality ingredients, you know, something that's not mm. necessarily fast food, but, but you um, want the better quality. Ingredients, I guess not. Apparently. I guess that's, I guess that's what it is. Like you don't get that. Like if you want a Western style burger, you, you, you do Carl's Jr. That's the only way to get it. <laughs> there's like no other the way. Good Western style cheeseburger, huh? Yeah. There's like no it's other way to Carl's. do it. Yeah. That's interesting. No, that's exactly it. That, <laughs> that's okay. um, that's a life lesson. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> From all the knowledge I'll pass down, you know, to whomever. Most important. To my ha to my hypothetical offspring or whatever. It's like, it's uh, it's Carl's. That's that's the answer. <laughs> what about Hardee's? <laughs> well, it depends on your region. That that can Is change. The exact same. Yeah, they're the same. Just oh, uh, okay but branding exactly uh, i want uh i haven't had a western bacon from them in a long time well it's not too late it's not like they closed down or anything there's probably one, <laughs> there's probably one. Yeah, I there's mean, something nearby somewhere close enough uh for you so yeah why not after this that's i uh, know what i'm doing <laughs> they're probably open yeah they're open now oh, so they're gonna be open Hell absolutely yeah, gonna be open. absolutely um anyway that's my little uh, me and my little soapbox about Western style. About Western bacon's. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, there are a few other items here. You know, I, I I will bring up now. Um, we also I had the had some great fun, um, at Smorgasburg recently with uh, David, uh, better known as Goldline, better now known as Best of LA Food. Um, he's probably uh one of LA's uh, greats as far as um, the in the know of LA's food scene and trying out uh, what LA has to offer and uh, sharing that with um, with a lot of people um, uh, as his followers. So uh, we were able to meet up at Smorgasburg. Apparently, they had a Burger Day celebrating National Burger Day. I got to tell you, I mm -hmm. am not. I don't really follow too much on the food holidays. Like I see it. But it just doesn't register with me, you know. Um, what do you I, mean? That's there was probably a time. I'm sure there was a time when I was kind of. I, I I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to like, you know. Oh, it's this this uh, food holiday. I gotta go and try a food or share a food or whatever on this day. I don't know. What if they gave you free stuff like uh, Krispy Kreme on Donut Day? I saw that. Uh, I didn't go to Krispy Kreme, so. Uh, what? I, but I saw that promo, right? Free donut, obviously, uh -huh. and then like. Yeah. Um, a two dollar dozen after you buy a mm -hmm, dozen. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Um, anyway, I I'm just telling you this. <laughs> but but typically I I don't really um. There's there's a lot of food holidays. Okay, just a lot of holidays in general. It's a lot to keep yeah. track of. Okay, as 
And there's only so much space in my brain that I can accommodate, probably because there's just so much food and cholesterol in there. So, yeah, but you can always eat more. You don't need to know the day. I would just eat. I mean, that's yeah, fine. Exactly. Do, I'm sure <laughs> with the amount that I'm eating, one of those things has to fall on a food holiday, okay? One of those things has exactly. to align eventually. And then, you know, like a clock is right twice a day, right? A broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> That's the uh, phrase. Whatever clock, okay? Clocks, <laughs> whatever clock you want, it's fine. Let the clock run. It's <laughs> I'll just keep eating. That's a sports reference, but okay. <laughs> oh, anyway. Um, but yes, I forgot where I was, but oh, burgers, right? So there was that. Um, National Burger Day. And we'll talk about that actually maybe a little more after we wrap this up. Um, just in case, uh, you want to endure more with us and um, we'll kind of go over that a little bit. Um, but then, uh, yeah, we also had some fun, um, with our friends at Monkish to, uh, try out some burgers from yellow paper and yellow paper is a place I haven't visited in a while. And I was very excited to uh, go out there and I'm glad I did because they had some, um, they had, there was a great burger. I mean, that, that's a great burger to uh, enjoy. Uh, just a good smash burger, um, kind of that roadside burger stand uh, vibe. Um, let me see if I can bring up something for that. I know I have something saved here, which I do. Uh, that's the burger there. And I want to thank my friends for joining me because we had a great it's time. friends. <laughs> I didn't say that. But you did. Remember, there are no qualifications. There's just no qualifiers. They're just all, we're all friends here, okay? We're all having a good time. <laughs> There's always qualifiers, whether or not they're over is something else. Right. Um, okay, well, uh, imply all you will or infer all you will. I don't know. <laughs> but um, enjoyed this very much and had some good beer as well. Uh, but that's... Oh, okay. The friends. You? Oh, okay. <laughs> but that, friends, yeah. There is one. I, I had some as well. I had to partake. Oh, I had okay. to in uh, in good company. So, um, And after that, actually, since that was in Monkish, right, in Torrance, um, we uh, we had dessert. We had ice cream at Concha. So um, still, it's, um, if I remember, it's 75%, right? <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah, seventy five percent of every sale. <laughs> All sales. Yeah. yeah. How are they even open? I don't know. They're just so generous. All um, these years. <laughs> <laughs> that's philanthropic. Uh, philanthropy if I ever saw it. So, um, if uh, if you have a chance, um, support them because they're probably giving seventy five percent away of their stuff. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, a lot of good stuff. <laughs> uh, there's some other few things uh, that we'll also bring up later. Um, some other good spots that we've uh, had the fun of mm -hmm. visiting there. But um, yeah, well, it sounds like we've both had very interesting um, weeks, I guess. Um, but speaking of food, thank you, everyone, for joining us again as we talk more about our food adventures Talking about these local spots and pop-ups and uh, good food and, and good people. So uh, today we are talking about uh, one of our favorite food groups. Probably one of the only food groups we ever talk about lately, but that's totally fine. <laughs> um, today's food group is uh, burgers. Again, how can you argue that uh, with anything else? Burgers are just a foundational food group. They are They provide the... Uh, the essentials of life and building blocks for living. And um, you, you don't seem to agree. Was there any green stuff in the burgers you had recently? It depends, right? It may oh. vary from burger to okay. burger, right? Um, in this case? Well, there are, okay. yeah, you might perceive the color of green in some of those <laughs> things. Now, whether those greens are actually... Uh, you know, contributing towards nutrition or, you know, any sort of, I don't know, sustenance. I don't know. That's another story, but, um, I can just Fair tell enough. you that the, the burgers we're going to talk about today are just excellent examples, um, and should definitely be in your, uh, foundation, part of your foundational food groups here, um, as part of a healthy diet or just a diet. I don't know. <laughs> 
Actually, the, the way things are going, we, we put the die in diet. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. These these foundational food groups would do that to you. It will. But today's food group we're talking about, uh, today's spot we're talking about is uh, hangovers. And uh, that is, you heard that right, it's pronounced hangovers. <laughs> so this is a, um, a pop-up uh, based in uh, El Sereno, and they are... Um, founded and you know, kind of owned by two very lovely ladies, uh, Alicia and Cecilia. They are partners in life and uh, in food. They, um, they make these, uh, they make smash burgers and they have set themselves apart um, in, a, in a few ways, but um, certainly through the food that they make, uh, they make a, a kind of two styles of burger. Um, and we'll get into it more as we kind of talk more about uh, some of our visits there. But you can kind of see here that, you know, we have this, what we call the kind of original um, style. But then we also have this other one called the Tepic style. And this is um, probably definitely the one that has caught people's attention and has um, kept people from um, uh, and kept people to, uh, you know, to come back and, and enjoy, um, you know, what they're what they're serving out there. But I, um, where you'll find them, like I said, they're based in El Sereno, um, but you'll find them, you know, in different parts of LA, uh, they sometimes find their way down to the South Bay and even the, the OC. Um, I think as we speak, probably this week, they'll be down there in, in the OC. And, uh, so, but you know, just as all, all many of these guys, you can follow them on social media, Instagram name mostly, and see where they will be popping up next. Um, we first uh, first visited them back in 2020, and this was, I want to say this was like just when the pandemic was uh, starting, um, or maybe just before, yeah, yeah, when the pandemic was still like getting started, and okay. you know, social distancing was a thing, and masking was, you know, pretty prevalent out there, right? But um, as far as, you know, how we found even found out about it, I want to thank our, our friend uh, Maria who is definitely part of our friend group and definitely, and I will qualify is a good friend. Definitely. Oh, a good, good friend. friend. Definitely. People you had concha with over the weekend were not. They didn't deserve qualifiers. Um, I have to give her special recognition. So that's fine. At least <laughs> I think you'll agree to. So, um, but yes, Maria, uh, she's it's so interesting because she's, uh, you know, up in NorCal. Uh, now these days, but uh, she went out of her way to slide into my DMs and share this with me. Like, have you tried this or you should try this? And I had not heard of them before, even though I was really in the thick of, you know, liking smash burgers and everything. But uh, yeah, this was um, definitely a spot to uh, that, that was really getting the word out and people were finding out um, that this was a good, uh, good burger. So um, I think she sent me a, article from Ellie taco and I'll, I'll share that with you guys, uh, in our notes or whatever. And yeah, but, um, it's what, again, what really set them apart, um, was this, this burger called the, the Tepic, the Tepic style burger, which, um, is not necessarily, uh, original to them, but is something that they made, you know, adapted for their own. It's a, um, it's a it's a style uh, known more in Mexico in, in the area of, uh, region of Nayarit, it but it is a, a legit style of burger down there, and um, as we look at pictures, we can see what it's made of and everything. But um, yeah, but they but their original style, uh, as we'll see, also is also very good. Just the smash burger itself is a great example of um, what a good burger can be and is so yeah uh let me let me look that up here yeah we we find ourselves in el sereno and again this was uh this was like in summer okay so this was um this is getting hot it's warming up warm weather right and mm -hmm. again this is when a lot of people are already like finding out about these guys and everyone wants a piece right everyone wants uh to try it out so yeah it was a long day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you that that same day. Okay. Let me just say how the day started, how it started. Oh boy. Uh, we, we had some, had some great, uh, we started off with actually a visit at hamburgers. Nice. We, 
we've talked about them uh, recently. Mm -hmm. So one of those visits that we had um, uh, we had mentioned was on the same day as this. Okay, so we started there, <laughs> and then, and then um, and then on to uh, then we had barbecue at Flat Point. We just talked about Flat Point, and so one of those visits, same day as this. Jesus. So from one to the next, all right. And I think at that time, I'm trying to remember. I know definitely Flat Point was out on the west side. So um, definitely that was as far as probably I was that day. And so just imagine from the west side, right? Santa Monica, whatever. Driving mm -hmm. all the way east, right? Cutting across through LA, oh, like a whole just, journey right yeah. on a weekend or whatever. And um, driving up to El Sereno where they were popping. That's an hour. Yeah, uh, yeah probably at least, right? So um, it just shows how, I mean, it was probably on the way home for me at least. Um, or maybe uh -huh. not. I'm I'm trying to remember my timeline here. Am no. I all mixed up here? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you moved. It? Oh, I had moved or I was already yeah. like more west. Yeah. So um I drove east and um I found my way in El Sereno uh because of this article that Maria sent me to try. <laughs> Good job, Maria. Yeah, it it was compelling. And um I think it was uh definitely worth the visit, I'll tell you that right now. But yeah, it was hot, it was a lot of people waiting in line. Um, I've, you know, we've done our sh share of line waiting, right? So it's not of uh, anything new to us, but it had been a minute, I think, since I had re waiting in a line like that. Um, really? Yeah. I mean, cause they were, How you long know, are we talking here? I could remember, I mean, in my mind, it's probably like a good couple of hours, you know? Wow. Yeah. It was a long time. And again, this is like in the sun, you know, it's like outdoors, yeah. you know, just around the block or something. This is a neighborhood, right? So just like in this neighborhood sidewalk or whatever, you know, blocking people's driveways or something. I of course. <laughs> people trying to get That's it. Fine. And I remember like those streets or whatever, relatively narrow there. And um, at least at that part of uh, the neighborhood. So yeah. And, and people are trying to park, right. Trying to park, like get their spot, you know, and, but like uh, the residents, there are trying to like park too, or like, you know, get in or out. So I don't know. It was a challenge, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was uh, something else. So, I was excited, I could tell you. Like I remember it was like everyone was masked up. They were they were distancing okay. as best as they could. I mean, I don't know, like you know, um, but eventually people just kind of compressed together like over time. You of know, course. Yeah. <laughs> Myself included, but um mm -hmm. yeah, I mean but but you could super spreader Angelo. Yeah, thank you. Yes. I am uh I'm definitely you can thank me for that. Um oh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, even as I drove past, um, you know, the driveway and, you know, kind of the, you know, where they were setting up. Yeah. You could already see they had like these bright kind of, um, their bright yellow signs, their signage and everything. And, you know, their and you can just smell the, you know, the, the burgers just being cooked and, uh, just all the people just kind of gathering. And it was a great, um, yeah, it was just a great kind of vibe, even during this kind of uncertain, kind of difficult time. Mm -hmm. You'd see people just kind of really excited to try um, food and be be outside and, you know, interacting, I guess, with other people. It's it's nice, you know, in some ways you have to find um, you got to find the joy, I guess, in, in those things, too. Um, what we have here, though, what we've been showing up here is just one of the pics of um, uh, the burgers that we have. This is. Um, this is the original and, um, I think their menu is still the same. It's like, you have the original and you have the tippy, but this is the original, uh, you know, two smashed, uh, patties, you know, beef patties. Um, and then you have these pickles that are cut lengthwise. And I, you know, when I think about it, I don't remember who I heard about this from or whatever. I, there's just something more, maybe it's more efficient, right? Like you have these lengthwise pickles that are cut you just mm -hmm. have two that it just covers a better area than having like several little pucks of pickle uh, you, know? you know um it's efficient you know and uh it, consistency is part of the part of the burger that's what you're thinking there's a yeah. you, you're saying the inconsistency yeah different ta different bites have would have different uh ah, pickle. a little surprise in oh, each bite huh exactly i see Okay. Um, well, that's something worth worth considering, but not these guys. Okay. They're all about, uh, 
just having a good consistent bite every time so see the um, thing about that is if you eat it the other way where mm-hmm. the pickle is the the wide side there's, uh-huh. you're gonna have a bite without pickle hmm. or without the same amount of pickle so maybe there is a strategy on how to eat it then i guess so well it doesn't matter because they should eat it in like one bite anyway so oh i see sliders yeah. so these are sliders. <laughs> Biggest sliders in life. That's right. Well, it depends on who you ask, and it's all relative anyway. <laughs> that is true. Um, but you can tell this is a pandemic shot. You can see the, uh, um, of course, yeah, the staging and the uh, the blanket and everything there. Um, but this was not even yeah. a good blanket. No, it was like yeah, not no, not we weren't quite there yet. We'll 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 see. We'll see when it comes makes its appearance. But. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just a few shots of the um, the original. I mean, this was like, yeah, probably already like in the afternoon, maybe like four or five o'clock already uh, when I finally, you know, got the food and, you know, was ready to bounce and everything. Yeah, there's really no place to hang out, right? I mean, there is that's still kind of yeah. like not a thing. So you get your food and then you just bounce. So mm-hmm. thankfully I found parking. I mean, that was fine. Um, but yeah, so just taking some... Uh, pictures and just kind of enjoying uh, these burgers in the uh, I don't know in the golden hour I guess but this <laughs> um, yeah that was the this is the original let me see if I can I have the um, the Tepic as well so this is the Tepic so the Tepic is again smash burger two beef patties with uh, with uh, cheese you have the American cheese there but um, what sets this apart is what makes it that Natarit style that uh, is the um, the ham. There's like ham there. There's oh. um, a little bit of panela cheese, which is like basically like a Mexican cottage cheese kind of thing. And mm-hmm. then um, and then kind of these kind of cream, like a spicy mustard cream and ketchup deal, whatever. So, yeah. And then a sliced tomato. Yeah. So on top of all that, you still have you still have all that. So it's, you know, it's a unique take. So um, mm-hmm. I think the burgers down there, um, you know, in Mexico, um, you know, they have them in like regular style burgers, you know. Uh, of course. But but here is a smash burger. I mean, you know, this is what I guess is what it looks like. And that's it right now. It's uh, it's a great burger. So. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So it's um, you do. Yeah, a little bit of that that mustard cream comes through the panela, the saltiness a little bit with the ham too, and um, and the tomatoes making and playing in there as well. So shoot, I mean it's it's nice, it's nice. But I know I knew already that this would not be uh, the last visit. There'd be more <laughs> to to come. But yeah, so Good. but yeah, this was this would be their menu, and yeah, so. It, it's cool. I mean, we'll um, hopefully with what we share, the info we share that you can kind of read through their stories and, you know, see how they kind of came up with everything and, and the circumstances that led to that. Of course, the pandem- pandemic, I'm sure, was a big part of like kind of driving them to do something like this. I think thankfully they, you know, they still are very well employed and, you know, gainfully everything. So um, so they do these, um, you know, on the weekends when when. Uh, Every so often, they try to keep a regular schedule. That's why you follow them on the uh, on the socials to see uh, what they're up to. But, um, but again, like I said, this would not be uh, the last visit. So, let's talk about another visit then. So the next one is again these they're mostly based in El Sereno. So their next pop up was was there, mm-hmm. and now we see the appearance of um, of a proper uh, backdrop here, and. Um, in this visit, um, I think, yeah, there was there was quite a bit to enjoy this day too. There was, um, I remember, I had picked up some food from from Moose. Um, mm. There's a pop up uh, as well happening as well called Bridgetown Roti, um, and which makes some great uh, like Caribbean style food, uh, which you can okay. uh, share with that too. Um, but yeah, but. Once I picked up that food, I headed over to Hangabers for their next for their pop up there again in El Sereno. But yeah, we I couldn't help but order again one of each. You have the Tepic and the original here, and 
just as good. I mean, you know, you take some pictures, they look great, but they taste even better. Again, you see that Tapique, you got the tomato, the, the mustard, um, the, the ham there. It's, yeah, it's nice. So, um, this visit thankfully wasn't as, uh, as hectic, I think. It's still, okay. I think there was a lot. I don't remember at this point if, you know, after that, you know, they were kind of balancing between, you know, doing the, just like, um, just walk-ups versus, um, you know, like, uh, ordering for pickup or whatever, like scheduling a pickup time mm-hmm. or something like that. So mm-hmm. a lot of the, a lot of the restaurants and pop-ups, you know, had to kind of do that, right. Coordinate that. So it make it uh, easier and, and, um, you know, ensure better safety, right. For people like just getting their food, but yeah, no, this was, um, this was great. Um, so yeah, I, I remember, remember I was in the trunk of the car. I had mm-hmm. all those items. I had the box with moose with had some brisket and pork belly in there. And then I had the, um, the roadie, the Bridgetown roadie. Um, uh, I think it had like, um, some oxtail in there and whatever, like a nice kind of burrito wish package. It was nice. And then, and then hangovers. And then from all of them, I remember that I finished hangovers like easily. Actually, I think I finished most of them. I think I finished it right. Yeah, but I yeah, think, yeah. but definitely, I remember finishing hangovers, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like first, like definitely, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, but yeah, you can see here just another great shot of like how they just kind of put that together. I mean, maybe we go down to um, Nayarit and um, try to see what the or yeah, see what what this style is all about down there. And see how sure, it stacks sure. up. But I mean, you're here. I mean, we can we can easily visit um, a pop up here and see how it is. But yeah. I got to tell you right now. So For starters, yeah, exactly. But um, you know, you see the backdrop here, but then you see the background in this next picture, right? So they're in El Sereno, mm-hmm. right? And you know, if you remember who else lives in El Sereno or did or did, do yes. is um, our friend Maria. Um, and rather her parents has not been forgotten. <laughs> no, she hasn't. In fact, she is a good friend. She's a great friend. <laughs> She's uh, okay. <laughs> great friend. He says, if, right. um, if I were in T-Mobile, she'd be my top five, right? You don't remember How that? Old are you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. Um, uh, anyway, so we have, um, so yeah, her, you know, her parents live in El Serino, right? And, uh, so, you know, usually, like, I want to find a nice just backdrop or just... Or... What's that? Was she, was she here? No, I just happened to mention that uh, the reason I bring it up, right, is because, you know, I want to find a nice backdrop, you know, and just mm-hmm. something to take pictures or whatever, right? The blanket goes is good, but it only goes so far, right? So, Not I'm like, I'm in El Sereno, right? And El Sereno has nice, you know, is, you know, is a... Uh, hilly neighborhood or whatever right as mm-hmm. um including wherever maria's folks live so basically uh-huh. i drive to their house right i drive over to the hills where they because it's not too far it's el sereno right neighbors mm-hmm. so i drive from one part of the hill to the other and i basically i don't i don't park right in front of their house right that's <laughs> now that's weird right but you park <laughs> A few doors down. <laughs> Why? So you can get shots like this. And I don't know. So you know. Is blurred. You can just anywhere. Anywhere. Any neighborhood. did not have to be specifically her. I know. I was thinking about that. But then, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I'm close to like people I know, right? Like familiar company. Even though I'm not going to see them. Like I yeah, just. You're just, not going to say hi. You're not going to. Just the fact that I know that they're nearby just makes it feel better, right? They don't know you're nearby. What if they... <laughs> that I know that they're nearby. Oh, they don't have yeah. to know that I'm there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and that's not I like stock. That's not stalking at all, okay? That's not weird or anything, okay? But, that's um, sus as fuck. It is not sus, okay? There's no sus. That's cap, okay? No sus. <laughs> And that's Sorry, facts. What? Okay. All right. Um, but I tell you, these burgers in the same vein of colloquialism are bussin'. Okay. These are great burgers. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, no. I mean, look, if you've lived, lived in that neighborhood, you would know where I am. You would appreciate where this is coming from and what it represents and what it is. It's great. It's great. I hope Miranda listens to this episode. <laughs> I really do. She's still catching up, so she'll get to it eventually, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, when, you're, when you're out of state after all this, after her parents have a restraining I think she order. is. I think I she know. was familiar with the fact that uh, I probably did this. Maybe she forgot. I might have told her, like, in passing. <laughs> I don't know. But I just. In passing? It's like, hey, I was by her parents. Anyway, you know, just. But yeah. I used, them, I used that as your, my backdrop for my pictures. There you go. <laughs> you should. I, mm. Yeah, it's great. Mm. Look, All right. Um, but yeah, so that is key. It's just very LA, okay? Just <laughs> LA ask, picturesque, LA. Anyway, and it gives me context as well, right? It reminds me of, you know, what it all means. What What does it all mean? I'm hungry. Obviously. <laughs> and you can only eat it by Maria's parents, please? It's where I feel most at home in this case, right? It's close by. I guess. I don't know. We're in to- when, when did Tomo and Kanara move there? Was That was after, huh? Um. Yeah. Well, okay. so this these pictures were in... Yeah, what year did they move? Was it uh, 20 or 21? I don't remember because this was uh like end of twenty, so I think they were around that time. I want to say yeah, it might be close. You could have gone to their place if they were there. Mm, moving on, we have <laughs> next. <laughs> um, this that's next pop up street. That's the st- it is a street, <laughs> right? But it's, it's what it's what it right means. Of, right? His parents' house, <laughs> right, like exactly. this is the. <laughs> Not quite, but it is still uh, on the east side of uh, L.A. But this is kind of the other side of the big hill, uh, not El Sereno, but City Terrace. And uh, the location is familiar. We've talked about before. This is Sarah's Market. Mm. And so one of their pop-ups during this time, um, you know, again, we talk about Sarah's Market. A lot of great um, you know, vendors yeah. come through there, pop-ups. They do a great job of like... Um, you know, bring community and everything together, um, through these, through food and, and, um, you know, yeah, staying with the community. So what we see here, um, actually is a food truck. Um, and the food truck is called on the go LA. I don't know if they're still like as active or whatever, but they're basically a, it's basically a truck that you can rent. So it's like a oh. small operation. Like they have this one truck or whatever that, you know, people can, uh, rent for a period of time and they do their pop-ups or whatever. I don't know. So it was, it wasn't just them. There was, there are other pop-ups as well, um, that would use this. Um, mm-hmm. but this was definitely one of the ones that, uh, I, I remember visiting and, and, and trying during that time, but yeah. So instead of doing the tents and breaking down the equipment and whatever, so you get a food truck. Um, That's so cool. yeah, it is a cool concept actually. Um, but, uh, you can see here, people are still masking and, um, still got a, distant and whatever um but yeah so this was just another visit you know this is um the Tapique, you know this and you can see here one thing one detail i think that didn't come through maybe in the others um early on were the uh were the fried onions mm-hmm. so similar to like a fried onion smash burger um you know have these kind of caram- caramelized onions that are us uh, you know cooked on the grill when when the burger smashed the patty smashed on the grill. You add the onions, you know, adds that caramelization, soaks up some beef flavor, whatever. So anyway, great burger. Um, you see again, you here you see great view of the layers, right? Mm-hmm. The meat, the cheese, with the tapiki of the ham, the panela, the tomato, the spicy mustard, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, so great burgers, great time at uh, Sarah's Market. Again, it's a shame, you know, during this time, this was in the thick of the pandemic, already like a year in or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, the crowds were really not what you call existent, you know. But people came through. They would support, um, mm. you know. Uh, but just uh, it's just different, right? You don't get that. You don't get those great vibes of. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So that's at Sarah's Market down there. Again, if... Um, more shots of the burger on 
the pandemic uh, backdrop there. So mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Um, so, I mean, between these two, my child, I mean, which one, if you had to choose one at this point, even though you've tried neither, I mean, which would you go with? Well, I mean, the Topeka is obviously the one that's caught my interest. Okay. Uh, but it's not necessarily it's because like, with... uh-huh. Well, it's, it's already a burger, right? But then you add more meat on a burger and then like, I'm more interested in it. Give me the extra ham slice. That's a good, that's a good point. Yeah. Meat on meat. Can't Meats. go wrong. That's right. So yeah, uh, Sarah's Market, um, just uh, keep them in mind, always bringing people through. Uh, yeah, but this was big, big pop-ups, or yeah. at least pop-ups that you decide to visit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anyone they bring through, um, no doubt it's gonna be a, it's gonna be, um, gonna be a hit. So this was uh, just another pop-up, another pickup. I think this was definitely mm -hmm. a pickup. You know where you, you know, kind of pre-order. You know, online you pay in advance, you set a time. You know, so everyone kind of had their own little system um, on how to do it. Um, some of them used like you know, online payment services. Others would use something as simple as Venmo or Zelle or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, so anyway, that's just, you know, examples of like what these people, these guys were doing, but yeah, no, just visited. Um, and again, this was during times we're picking up, so it's not as busy. It's not as, you know, crowded or overwhelmed uh, with people. So this is a nice time to just kind of, uh, hang out and kind of, um, see them in action. Um, so yeah, this uh you know, you see the the burgers being smashed on the grill. That reminds me though, um I need to break out the uh the flat top eventually and um <laughs> break that in, you know. Of course, um, of course. But yeah, I mean you see uh you just see those burgers kind of being made. Here's a shot of the grill with the the ham and the and the cheese, the panella um being fried there on the uh, on the flat top too. So yeah, it's nice, you know, when I had the chance to visit a lot of these guys, not just these guys, but you know, other pop-ups and for burgers, particularly, it's nice to see the process, you know, kind of going. So you see that, um, you know, they've, they have the burger smashed and they're topping it there with, uh, with the onions. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, you know, some of them will season it. Some of them will just let it cook some of them, you know, so, um, yeah, it was a good, it's a good visit and you know, then you have the others, you know, in the crew kind of, uh, the word term is like doping the bun and then kind of topping it with all the, with layering it with all the ingredients and everything. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's just nice to kind of see how it's all uh, put together, but hangar burrs, once again, this visit was for a Topeak. I think that's the only one I got, I guess. Oh no, I, I got the wow. original too. No, no, no. Oh. I got both. I got one of each. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, uh, look, let me show you again. Um, another <laughs> visit up uh, the hills, okay? <laughs> okay. That could be anywhere. It could, well, it could be anywhere. But it's not. It's at, uh, it's at El Sereno. <laughs> that could be anywhere in El Sereno, yeah. yeah. Well, no, but it's in a particular spot in El Sereno. Oh. Yeah, you can tell because of the way it is, you know. Can you? <laughs> Yeah, all the all the background and the hills and the valleys and you know where those buildings are and how it yeah it's you can easily tell there's like okay. no you have no there's no mistake mm -hmm. right yeah no mistake um but otherwise you just use these uh just use the the backdrops and you're happy with it so it's fine <laughs> <laughs> it's fine but without it I mean how will you know you're in L A it's totally L A you know. It's great. Um, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not weird. Okay. I'll tell you that. Okay. It does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah. But the, uh, probably one of the last albums I'll share here was actually with, uh, with Maria. So this was the day oh. that, uh, when she had visited, um, if you remember, we hung out, uh, we met at Tomo's, um, because at, definitely at that time there were, uh, mm -hmm. in El Sereno. Okay. So we met up at their place 
and uh, Maria and Patrick were down that we're down to and um, but we kind of went on a little it kind of took them and we went on a little kind of food crawl mini food crawl um, and so that included picking up our lunch from A's um, but then we also visited hamburgers nice and then um, and then hangers so so with each spot you know I would um, ask Maria to you know, help me uh, take a picture, model a little bit with these, uh, with mm. the food. And um, so we're out here like by Tomo's like patio or something, right? Or a little balcony. Oh, and, okay. Yeah. So we're just, um, we're just taking pictures here as the food grows cold, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, that's the tradition. <laughs> exactly. As per usual. But uh, yeah, no, this was uh, just another great, it was a great um, visit, a good, you know, example of just like, and I think she liked it. I hope she did. Okay. <laughs> um, we can ask her, I guess, but no, it was, uh, it was good. So we had the Topeak here. We have the original here. So she got to try both thankfully, but again, on top of that, she tried uh hamburgers nice and she had his barbecue. So yeah, nice, uh, a nice, great, uh, array of like sampling of like everything, um, in one day. So I was happy. I was happy. We were able to kind of pull that off. Um, but uh yeah i mean obviously this oh, is just like mm -hmm. well so none of the pictures with maria are at her parents place or near her parents place what here yeah this is in el sereno with her okay yeah <laughs> All I need to know. good enough so um but yeah so that was um there's obviously very obviously much more um you know, many more pop-ups and, and things uh, to enjoy and many places that, uh, uh, places that they've popped up. They've, um, you know, like I said, they've found them themselves down in like, uh, in the South Bay, they do a few in like Long Beach. They have recently kind of done pop-ups in, in the OC. Um, I think they were even, uh, invited to like, I'm trying to remember, I'm, sh I'm sure if I find the link, I'll, I'll share it. They were, went to this like food event, this LA, LA time sponsored food event. And, you know, they had participated in, in there and I, I'm sure they did really well in whatever they were doing. So, um, yeah, they, they really, actually there was even a video I forgot I was going to share or just kind of play while we were kind of talking, but, um, there was a, they were featured in a video from, um, chef Alvin Kailan, um, who hosts the burger show or from first oh. piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's them, right? Alicia and Cecilia. And, um, yeah, so they, in this episode, they featured them and also, uh, yellow paper, which, uh, which is also great, you know, um, burger spot. Uh, we just talked about them earlier. Right. So, um, but anyway, but this is, uh, uh, this is hangar burrs. So it's great. I mean, it's, um, you get to hear a little bit about their story and like, you know, and everything there. Uh, what was fun, I don't remember if it was from this video or just some other thing that I seen, you know, the word, right, the name Hangabers um, is uh, just their way of, you know, having a little fun with uh, with the name because, uh, you know, Hangabers is supposedly how a young child would pronounce that word. Um, oh, is that what it is? Yeah. The word ha hamburgers as Hangabers. So, mm, okay. A fun little play on that, but, um, oh yeah, but yeah, just a great, a great addition, I think, um, to the rotation of great burgers, smash burgers, um, in the LA scene. And mm -hmm. I think, um, this would definitely be a unique bite to have here and, uh, something to I don't know, just really enjoy here. So I don't know. Um, there was a pick. I don't know if I have it here, but uh, we had talked about them from a previous episode, right? Um, and there was a recent visit that uh, that I had made out there. I do have the picture here. I'll just show this one. This was out at Sarah Market. Um, mm -hmm. Again, recently, we talked about them. They were popping up alongside Eastside Cheesecakes. But um, it had been a minute since I had visited them, and I just wanted to, you know, um, I was reminded again of how good they are. Um, but at this good. point, um, they had changed out their, uh, their buns. 
Um, so they were, all the pictures we had seen before had used, uh, Martin's potato, uh, buns and mm-hmm. Martin's is a, is a bun. It's a potato bun. It has a different kind of texture. Um, people pref- may prefer a potato bun over a white plushy bun for, you know, whatever reasons, texture, just bite, whatever. It's a great bun, <clears throat> um, a potato bun in general, but Martin's particularly. And, um, to source it actually is surprisingly can be surprisingly challenging i guess because they're based in like on the east coast and so um to get it out here was a challenge especially early on um but there are suppliers and purveyors and such that make it happen so they were using it a lot of burger places i think smash burgers and otherwise um use it as well but Mm -hmm. they changed it out and there was um there's an a link again, something I will we'll share uh, of a post that they have, and I'll show it here too. I won't go through it, but I mean, when when you see it, you can kind of take a look at, you know, what um, what I'm talking about here. There is some, I guess, some controversy over, you know, the use of the, uh, um, well, of the of the brand um, because I think its owner was supporting, you know, like. Um, uh, we're supporting things that were anti, you know, LGBTQ and so forth, and just wasn't really aligning with uh, the values of these guys. You know what I mean? So mm, yeah. I think as a result, they this was their way of like kind of taking a stand um, and swapping the buns out for something else. So, um, you know, it can be hard in some ways, you know, you have a product that, you know, that works and that, you know, that people like already, right. As is. But, um, I think when something maybe like this as strongly affects you, um, in a deep way, you know, in something, um, then, you know, I think sometimes you're just compelled to make a big change, um, as a result, you know, um, which I think is great. Um, and it's just their way of uh, getting aligning better with, you know, with their values and really literally who they are, you know, which is, um, but uh, thankfully, you know, what they switched out with is a white plushy bun from a local bakery. And, you know, when I visited there and had it, it was, it was great. It was still a great burger. Um, it had the right kind of texture. Just it wasn't, you know, not everything. It wasn't too thick. It didn't bite you know, difficult. It was just, just, just an easy bite. Um, so yeah, it was, um, that choice was, it was a good choice to make, you know, and, uh, worked out for them. And I'm sure, you know, other people will agree too, since people are still going, they're still supporting. Um, so, uh, it's just, uh, like I said, another great burger in, in LA. So, um, yeah, I mean, we've talked about a lot, the burgers. I mean, just there's a lot going on. So, I mean, um, this is definitely up there with some of the faves. Um, I know you've had a share of your share of burgers we've had together, um, mm-hmm. from other great places. So, you know, I know you have your, your favorites too. Um, but this would be just another, another one to get on there. So I don't know when are we going? I, I <laughs> I don't know. Just got to add it to the rotation. We do add it to the schedule, get it to the calendar and get it on there. So, um, yeah, I don't know more to come, right? More to come. Hopefully. Yep. But anyway, sounds like we've come to the end of another episode. Thank you for joining us. We're excited to bring you more of our adventures with good food and good people. You can reach out. We're here on Instagram. I'm at dumb and hungry. He's at my underscore chow. You can email us at hi at dumbandhungry.com where you can send us your feedback and your love letters. You can find the videos here on YouTube. Won't you like and subscribe? Oh, and smash, right? You can also find the audio here on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever else fine podcasts are served. But until next time, I'm Angelo. Not my show. And on your next food adventure, remember to try one of each.
Well, we're back. Missed us? We're never done. <laughs> like I said, more to come. Uh, more, to en- more to endure. <laughs> uh, but yes, welcome back, everyone, to our little after show. Um, I wanted to kind of save this for some of the things that um, I wanted to... Yeah, some of the things uh, I've eaten, once again, recently, um, but wanted to kind of go more, a little more in-depth with. Um the couple things I wanted to share I mentioned uh, earlier was about um, my visit to Smorgasburg with uh, mm-hmm. David of Best Food, Best Best Food LA. Oh man, no, I'm gonna botch this now. Hold on, let me look it up. <laughs> um, but yeah, we he was nice enough to you know let me join him, and uh, we visited. Like I said, there was a. Uh, an event from Smorgasburg in, you know, in highlighting burgers because of the, of national burger day. And so, um, we, I just asked him, Hey, are you gonna, are you gonna be there? Maybe we can meet up. Yeah. So he was, uh, definitely down. So this is, um, his Instagram. This is best of LA food. All right. Mm-hmm. I got that right now. Best of LA food again, gold line. Um, but yeah, you can, you can see he's really visiting a lot of great places, trying out places, um, supporting small businesses, local businesses. And, uh, I think that's, you know, really a lot of what it's all about. You know, a lot of these, um, uh, food, uh, personalities, I want to say, you know, influencers and creators and things like that, uh, pop-ups and so forth, you know, sharing their their content and, um, and other people sharing and supporting each other. You know, it's a great kind of community to be in. Um, and so, uh, David, um, is just one great example of that. So, uh, if you haven't already, you definitely need to check him out and follow and uh, see what he's up to. He's here on Instagram. He's got his TikTok as well, which is surprisingly growing or maybe not surprisingly. He's, um, <clears throat> mentioned surprise, not surprisingly that, Things like reviews really get get the views, if, if if you will, you know. It's one thing to just to you know to highlight you know and kind of um, you know uh, showcase these places, but it's another thing to really uh, you know kind of review them and and give the people your thoughts on really what it's all about. Now, um, now he has good. Uh, I think generally he has pretty good uh, uh, pretty good judgment and pretty good out uh, outlook on you know on views on these things. So. Uh, I definitely, you know, follow what, uh, what he's eaten, uh, these days. So, um, definitely something worth uh, trying out, but at Smorgasburg, um, yeah, it was kind of an overcast day, you know, but thankfully like, so it's not too hot, but I wish it were a little more sunny that day, but it was okay. Um, you know, you get there like right around 10, you know, right when it opens, thankfully it's like not too busy. Um, when you get there, people are just starting to pour in. Um, but yeah, so I think that day there were definitely a few, um, a few spots that were there and highlighted. I'm trying to see here. I don't, um, I don't have everything I wanted to, to line up, but that's okay. So the places that we visited, we hit up there, um, were the following. We had softies. So softies, I think they're based here, I think in the OC, um, I'd never heard of them. Uh, David never heard of them, but, uh, they are just, they do smash burgers and, uh, they do their pop-ups around the OC, but they make, they seem to make like a pretty good quality, like higher end, higher quality product. Um, I don't remember the exact names of the things that they were offering, but we had like what I would consider their kind of standard smash burger, which I think they called the Cali. So this was, uh, maybe a pick it's more, yeah, they had the Cali, the High Verde, crispy shroom and pork belly. So we had the Cali that seemed like a standard, uh, smash burger. So that was, uh, that was good. So yeah, I mean, we were there, we didn't have to wait too long. So it was in the beginning. So, um, the only reason we got one was because, uh, there was just more we were going to try out, you know, throughout the day. So I guess we were just trying to pace ourselves and like Mm kind of take it easy, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this was, um, this is them. This is softies. And yeah, that was a, that was a good burger. You know, um, I'm trying to remember where those pictures are, but that's fine. 
Um, it was a good burger, just a good smash burger. It honestly, it reminded me more. It did remind me of like a smash from, uh, uh, proudly serving, which we kind of just mentioned, mm -hmm. um, kind of reminds me in that vein, but it is a good burger, you know, as its own, what was nice, a nice touch to it. Um, if you kind of see here, you see on the, um, on the, on the burger here on the left, like kind of on the top bun, there is, um, it's actually a a cheese crust like a cheese crust mm. here on the bottom side of the bun okay so you know um it's a nice touch um it's crispy you know it has a nice nice bite to it so that's uh that was softies and then um the the next one we had was from um from Love Hour. So Love Hour is a regular, you know, uh, spot uh, at Smorg. And so, uh, and they're definitely one of the OGs here in the, uh, in the Smash Burger scene in LA. And people love them. Um, they just make a great burger. And I think what sets them apart definitely are their, um, is the sauce and, uh, and their pickles, you know, whatever you top on there. But the love sauce, mm -hmm. that they call it, is a great um, it's a great addition to the burger. So, whenever you uh, when you order that, you definitely got to make sure uh, it's loaded on there. It's a great, mm -hmm. uh, definitely a great burger. Um, but yeah, that's Love Hour. So Love Hour also, I think they have their own spot now. We should have the oh um, yeah they're they're uh, down in K Town. Remember when we went to um, to Goltong? Um, yeah, on that stretch of. Uh, Western. Western Western yeah yeah um they're they're just right around there really why, why does my search results show up in Bing oh my gosh this is not <laughs> yeah thanks a lot Bing whatever uh that but yeah when you use oh remember when we, and we had dessert here at um at Boom Sun oh right oh, it's behind it that's right yeah yeah so that was a uh, formerly um oh that's right I already forgot the name of uh of the it's bar a, that something uh, bomb. was it yeah. belly bomb no yeah something um belly something <laughs> beer belly <laughs> something yeah <laughs> but yeah but uh, love hours there so they post up there they still have the drinks and the bar and everything and then you know they have the they have the burgers there too but again if not here you catch them at uh smorgasburg you'll definitely find them there but <laughs> great burgers always um, I'm glad that we had, uh, we had gotten it kind of remind us of, you know, a good, the good burger that it is. Um, mm -hmm. one of the, uh, one of the other spots that we visited out there, um, was a spot called Yi Cha and they, I believe are, or were based in New York. The, uh, the chef there behind it is actually, um, I've already forgotten my facts. If she was uh oh boy participated or um had uh, as as a as a participant or a judge, hold on. Have uh there we go. TV chef at Food Network. Uh, I'll just put it that way. Look at that. That looks pretty official. Um mm -hmm. yeah. They're there somewhere. What? What are we looking at? I don't know. Actually, I think I I didn't switch it over fine, but that's fine. It's fine. Um, Chef uh, Debbie Lee. Okay, so that's uh, that's what that is. But she ma they made this burger. Okay, that's what matters. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a bulgogi burger. So you have your Ooh. burger, but then you have on top of that the marinated bulgogi, and then you have kind of these caramelized um, onions. Uh, you see this bed of green. It's like this long, this big leaf, green leaf thing on the bottom. That was interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, and you pulled it out, right? Well, I couldn't. <laughs> I wanted to. Ta tablecloth trick. Right. And now we kept it on. That's fine. It was still good. <clears throat> oh, good. Yeah. Um, but that was uh, the teacher. I think I think they'll be making a uh, a spot. Maybe they're there. I guess they're there. I, I think they'll have a brick and mortar somewhere. Sometime soon, uh -huh. sooner than we think. Um, but yeah, so that was uh, that was them, and then oh, it's gonna be in Highland Park, huh? 
Evan Port. Oh, where did you see that? I didn't see that. Nice. Uh, that's an Eater LA article. Oh, okay, cool. All right. See, there you go. From um, January though, so I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but the last place uh, we hit up here was um, New York's chopped cheese. So uh, chopped cheese is a popular item in New York. Mm. There are a few places out here that are starting to make their way, but chopped cheese is a very casual before. food. It's like, it's, you know, something you pick up from uh, the market, you know, in New York, the bodegas or something you get it for like five, $6. And it's what it is. It's like chopped beef, right? Like hamburger meat. And then uh, just kind of seasoned. And then you have like the lettuce and tomato in there. David made a good comparison. It's like, it's like um, taco sloppy seasoning. Joe. Oh, maybe not like sloppy Joe, but like, yeah, like that taco meat, you know, like on taco night, mm, okay. but in this uh, kind that, of uh, bread roll. But yeah, it's nice. Um, I don't know. Uh, again, there there are a couple places in L.A. Um, that have come up that, that do serve it out. But again, you're not going to get it for like five, six dollars. You're going to get it for like, mm -hmm. I don't know, twelve, fifteen dollars. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just the L.A. L.A. way. But um, it was good. I mean, you know. If I'm getting this for like five, six dollars, this is a great, um, <laughs> great meal. So a great wow. bite. So, um, yeah, but that was from, uh, New York's chopped cheese. So we visited those spots. Oh, here's the love hour pick. Just FYI. This was great. Um, you got the love sauce, you know, the pickles, uh, a little bit, you got that chili in there. Um, so yeah, great, great, great burger. Um, so we visited those spots and then um, David reminded me that, um, or suggested that we visit uh, we visit Amboy out in Chinatown because um, they they were serving this burger uh, that weekend a special had something on special um, uh -huh. called the uh, the Theta Burger and I'm gonna bring that up here and the Theta Burger was featured in an episode of the Burger Show that again Alvin. Um, kind of um, hosts there with uh with George Motes if you remember that oh. fellow um America's, How could we forget um, America's burger historian and scholar mm -hmm. um but they they visit a restaurant um that serves this like very regional style of burger uh called the Theta and it's it's a burger covered with um with uh well I'll share the link so you can find out yourself <laughs> <laughs> but you can see here Fair. what you can see here very obviously is like shredded cheddar um there's also like this sauce on there uh this hickory like sauce if you uh, if you remember we've been to apple pan that serves mm -hmm. up a, a hickory sauce like that but uh this uh -huh. sauce is more kind of on this kind of less sweet and more on the ta uh, maybe tangy or savory side as a sauce but um it's a good it was a it was a good um a good bite um, but yeah, that was uh, the Theta Burger. So unfortunately, they don't. I don't think they're serving it anymore. But it reminds me that, as far as you know, again, one of the great burgers out there. Um, this is Amboy is definitely a great place to be, right? So they ha they're here in Chinatown. We mentioned them that they um, they're one of the uh, vendors and in, uh, in that new Topanga. Um, oh yes, that's right. Food court. So they're there has too. Yeah. Yeah, it's it open. Has. Okay. Yeah, plenty. So, yeah, I mean, um, this is a great, and again, it's at least for you too. I mean, because of where you are, it's mm -hmm. super close. So, I mean, like, you can definitely, uh, you know, uh, pay a visit over there in Chinatown. But um, yeah, the Theta Burger was a good bite. Glad we did it. You know, um, personally, I finished it off with some scoops ice cream. You know, for balance, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> the other major food group exactly yeah so um yeah so that was uh, our day at uh, smorgasburg and at uh, at amboy um the uh, the other spot i wanted to talk about was from a, a visit recently uh, maybe just in the past week um wanted to give a shout out to my uh my buddy jose he um suggested a spot out in Artesia of all places um, called Nilly's and uh, Nilly's is it's a burger restaurant in Artesia um, it's on this stretch of uh, Pioneer 
Ave. And um, if you happen to know that area, actually, uh, that stretch um, is actually kind of, I think, I think it's officially called, but maybe informally known as like Little India. It's like this high concentration oh. of Indian restaurants along that street. But um, this is not an Indian restaurant. This is uh, <laughs> this is definitely a, a burger restaurant. And okay. um, it's great. I'll tell you right now. It's uh, it's a fun. It's a great spot. It's a small spot, but uh, they got a good vibe, good space. Um, it looks it looks like a like a Filipino owned business. So you know, uh, call to what a shame. Uh, wait, what? Hmm? <laughs> what was that? Um, got us got to support our people here, but that's okay. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Um. They uh so they serve these burgers so their their menu is relatively simple we uh tried a few items we uh had um a we had a burger we had a patty melt and we had an order of um of chili cheese fries um I don't know if I have that I'm sure I had something up here but I wanted to say that burger it's not a uh, it's not a smash burger but it is a uh, it is pressed on the grill so you have the 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 patties that are kind of rolled, rolled, uh, you know, in balls. Um, but then they're placed on the grill, right? The griddle, and then they're pressed, but they're not smashed. So that's kind of an interesting kind of, uh, you know, distinction or take. So, um, I could show something here. These are just like, yeah, the pictures I just got from them. Um, but yeah, you can see here on the oh, grill, like flat. It's pretty flat, but it's not like flat, flat, you know, you, these, in. these don't have like the lacy edges, like, uh, mm -hmm. like we're used to with a smash burger. Um, but you can see here, uh, actually I'll show here first the burgers. This is the burger, right? So it's, it's still, I mean, you know, it's not like thick multiple C's it's not pub style, whatever, but yeah, mm -hmm. but you have uh, you have the burger, and then it's just like simply topped with like a little, um, you know, they have the fried onion, you have uh, the, some pickle, and like some onion, uh, some mustard in there too. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing too complicated, um, and uh, it's it's done pretty nicely. It's a great burger. It's cooked really nicely, and it tastes real good. Um, here's a toast version. Here's a pic of the uh, the chili cheese fries. So the chili cheese fries actually is interesting because, so you have chili, which is like a very meaty uh, chili, um, and then you have your your kind of uh, cheese here, and then they also top it with sour cream. That's, um, I see nothing wrong with this. No, there's not. There's nothing wrong it with it. I'm just saying, amazing. like, it's a nice addition, you know, because usually mm -hmm. when you have chili cheese fries, it's just like the chili cheese fries, right? It may be like. You know, you have those places that like top it with the strami, which is great too, right? But um, uh, shout out to the hat. But yeah, but you know, like how, uh, but you know how it is, like when you have a chili, like sour cream or whatever, is just a nice, you know, addition mm -hmm. to that too, right? So, um, and you can also hear the th thinly sliced onions, same thing that they use on the burgers, like they kind of thin it super, uh, slice it super thin, and then they top it on there, and with the pickles too. So it's, I mean, this was surprisingly. Um, not that I had any doubt, but it was surprisingly great. I enjoyed that very much. We both enjoyed oh, it. Good. Yeah. So, um, so that's the chili cheese. We showed the burger, um, and then the patty melt. The patty melt was, you know, again, like just kind of the in the burger prepared the same way, but like instead of that, you use this instead of the bun. You have uh, you have this toasted bread. Toast. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And that turned out great too. So, um, enjoy that very much. Um. The, uh, yeah, like I said, they also have like hot dogs, apparently. I didn't know that, but, uh, so next time I'm, I'm there, I will try more of that out. But again, the menu is like relatively simple. So, um, but whatever you do get there, it's probably going to be good. So no problems there. Right. Yeah. It looks, looks great. Yeah. Nilly's. And again, it's, um, uh, it's our people. So I don't know. Support him, I guess. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's uh, that's Nilis. Thank you again to uh, Jose for uh, for for the wreck. So um, yeah. So those were just uh, those were just 
some of the burgers, I guess, to enjoy lately and uh, maybe more burgers that you should maybe add to your rotation or keep in mind and, and have fun with. And I don't know, just again, support if you can, you know, those small local businesses. Um, yeah, they're, they're the, they make a real good, good stuff there. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's us. That's our food and our burgers. So thanks again, everyone, for watching and listening. And hopefully we will catch you at the next one.